This example comes out of section 6.1, Reciprocal Quotient and Pythagorean Identity. In this example, we're given an expression. It's not an equation. Clearly can't be an identity because there's not even an equal sign. Uh, but we do have tan x divided by secant x sine x. And we're asked to A, simplify the expression, and B, determine the non-permissible values. Simplifying the expression just means to divide or cancel or multiply anything that uh, I possibly can to make this thing look simpler. So I might start off by writing everything in terms of sine and cos. That's often a good strategy in these type of questions. So sine x over cos x divided by 1 over cos x times sine x. All I did was replace the, the using the fact that tan x equals sine over cos and secant x equals 1 over cos. Those are both on the formula sheet. Now, what happens next? I've got sine x over cos x divided by sine x over cos x, just by multiplying the two things on the bottom. Now, you have a fraction over a fraction. Some of you might immediately realize that that equals 1. But if you multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator, you'll realize that sine over sine cancels, cos over cos cancels, and you do end up with this thing simplifying as simple as is possible, really, down to a single digit, which is 1. Uh, not all equations will simplify quite that much, but this one does equal 1. And if you were to graph it, even if you graphed the complicated tan x over 1 over cos x times sine x on your calculator, you might be surprised to see that it just draws you a horizontal line. Truth is, it's not a perfect horizontal line, though, because there are actually some tiny little gaps in it, some tiny little spaces, and that's where question B comes in, determining the non-permissible values. If I look in this uh, simplification that I just did, and say, well, what would be possible non-permissible values? Anything that makes me divide by zero is a non-permissible value, so any denominator that I see here. And so, definitely cosine, I can't allow cosine to equal zero. And I see I have a sine x in the denominator as well, so I can't let sine x equal zero. So, in a previous example, we solved these, but in case you haven't looked at that one, cos x equals zero when x is pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, so x can't be pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, etc. Any pi radians after that. Whereas sine x equals to 0, well 0, pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, so x can't be those values either, 0, pi, 2 pi, etc. Um, if we're going to state all the non-permissible values, the fastest way to do so would be to say, well, 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, 2 pi. Every 90 degrees or every pi over 2 radians, I have another non-permissible value. So if you just say pi over 2 times n, where n is an integer, you would be stating all the non-permissible values at once for this particular identity.